welcome back to the video. So, it's been a while since you all have heard from me here on the Trinity Clan YouTube channel, but I would like to provide an official update video now that my uh, fall semester has actually been over. So, we'll actually start off and go in order through the outline that I've made over here, and we'll start off with the reflections of the semester. So, starting off with the reflection of the semester, uh, it was a pretty hard semester overall for myself. This is the semester out of eight, so I am one more semester away from graduating, so I'm really excited for that. However, um, I would like to point out that around the spring semester, I will be taking a lot of time focusing on my studies so I can make sure I graduate on time. So, for the most part, that will be more on an update video closer to the end of the break, but overall, I would like to say that I've uh, worked very hard on the seventh semester and looking forward to the next semester to come. Now, we'll get to the actual main stuff to go talk about here on the channel, which is uh, from the content plans, the competitive, and server events. So we'll start off over here with content plans, and we'll go immediately to the elephant in the room, which is Twitch. So, for me, I have unfortunately took a big hiatus from taking uh, with Twitch, and the reason why I decided to do that is for two reasons. One, I decided that after the whole Streamlabs debacle, I have decided to switch to OBS Live. Now, there was also that because a lot of my resources was taking up from slobs, so I decided to move to OBS Live instead. So, I decided to do that. And then also with Twitch, it's uh, there was a lot of inconsistent time, and especially December, where I was really unable to stream anything since the last time I streamed was around, I'd say closer to uh, middle of November. But now I'm looking to really get back on the horse with it. That, and I also remembering that um, I broke my card unfortunately because somehow it stopped detecting it this time i got actually a new capture card which is very great and i am using this for uh, a lot of my streams for the future now we'll actually go directly to talking about the streams in this where we talk about the stream schedule in quotation marks now the stream schedule for this is actually going to be by the week and the reason why i say by the week is because i am going to be posting a schedule of whenever i am available uh, I want to take especially a lot of time around the evenings to go to um, relax with my family, especially. So I'm going to be having more of a weekly schedule that I decided on my own, and something that I wanted to implement more in the winter time, but I decided to uh, once again go back to a fixed schedule. This time around, I have a lot more flexibility, I have a lot of days available, and stream schedule is going to be determined, so which you can go check out on the Trinity Clan Discord, where I will give that and also my Twitter as well, since those are going to be the main resources where I go post my schedule. Next up, we'll get to D4DJ Groovy Mix. Now, talking about my capture card, my capture card is able to be fixed now, so uh, thankful for that. I'm going to be doing a test stream right after this video goes live, or a little bit after, but I will be bringing back D4DJ Groovy Mix regular streaming. It's something that I wanted to do for a while, so I'm really looking forward to going back and streaming D4DJ Groovy Mix again. Really excited, that's a very fun game to stream on Twitch, so we're looking forward to that. The big thing I want to emphasize is remote fights for my future Twitch content. Now, I have actually decided to buy some extra PC parts thanks to this, and the reason why I have decided to do that is because I want to implement a lot more remote fight streaming and especially proxy play. So I really love proxy play. Uh, it's really inspired by uh, my heroes, the top deck heroes, ironically enough, as their name. And um, it's something that I wanted to do via streaming this time around, so I'll be doing a lot of playtesting for that. And it's not just going to be for stuff like Vanguard, it's going to be also stuff like Reaper for You, maybe even White Shorts, for example. This is something that we um, are excited to go implement here on the Chimney Clan Twitch. And looking forward to uh, hopefully having my parts out as soon as possible so I can start doing those awesome remote fight streams. Next up we get to other games. Now, the reason why I have this as a question mark is because I am still don't know if I'm going to be utilizing this. For DJ Groovy Mix and also Vanguard as a whole, uh, like since they're using CFA, are stuff that I have been highly emphasizing. But what I'm going to be basically doing is... 
Um, I'll be doing at least D4DJ group remix and remote fights for the most part, but other games will still be to be determined depending on my mood. And lastly, we go to here to the IRL streams. Now, something that I am excited to be bringing back just because I will be going to a convention on January 6th or 9th at Anime Los Angeles. So if anyone wants to uh, come meet up as well, I'll be trying to do some IRL streams as much as possible over there and really looking forward to seeing, hopefully, um, some of you there as well. But IRL streams will not just be for that. I plan to go hopefully stream at locals. I plan to go help stream at arcades especially. Um, a lot of people have requested that I do Waka um, IRL streams, so potentially we bring back and looking forward to seeing how it goes overall next up we get to the YouTube side of things which is what we're currently doing with our recording right here so for the YouTube side the release schedule these are gonna be mostly dates do not have a stream attached to it I kind of like doing that because the next day I go promote this video but the release schedule will always be probably around 8 p.m. around 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. is what I want to have a very good range I'm not going to say an exact date of 8 p.m. because there are technical issues that sometimes pop up and I decide to go take into account for that. So release schedule overall will be around 8 p.m. for the days I am not streaming. Next up we get to the main content I'm going to do and we'll start off with non-D4DJ Groovy Mix videos. Now the non-D4DJ Groovy Mix videos are something I really wanted to emphasize. I've been focusing on the game for almost this entire year in 2021, but I still want to overall do them as I see in that next point but for non D4J remix content I want to go expand more on d 4 because there are more stuff not just uh, group mix there's stuff from the anime that I've unfortunately been slacking on that I wanted to do there are stuff from the uh, concerts that I want to go do and talk about some potential songs and where they could potentially go for future stuff I'm excited to talk about even though it's really hard to tell the that Bushiro wants to go, and also um, anything that is potentially happening with the news as well. I did a lot of D4DJ remix news around the uh, around the Fridays when I stream it, so I want to go try to implement these news types as well. And as it says overall here on this point, I will see they'll be doing D4DJ remix videos. I will be doing this in a lot more emphasis for tips and such around this time, just because I want to go show everyone what's uh, very great about this, and even potentially some game comparisons as well. So, um, those are some stuff that were on the table, and I'm looking forward to seeing what we could do overall later on. Then we get to Rebirth for You videos. Now this is going to be more emphasis, of course, on D4DJ because I love D4DJ. But um, the th the important thing about that is that recently D4DJ Volume Two it will be releasing soon. So I do want to do stuff like uh, recaps of Card of the Days per weekly, and also get some deck list out as well. I love Rebirth for You, and I think that it's very great to promote a lot of this as well. So looking. For to potentially promoting with some other videos in the future. Not many people really do Rebirth for You content, but I want to go do some as well since I would like to promote the game and especially with D4EJ coming out, I'm really excited for that. Then we move on to competitive plans. Now, competitive plans are something that's very interesting because I'm still planning to compete as many tournaments in terms of Vanguard and also the Rebirth for You because mostly I just host uh, the tournaments, but I'll explain more of that later on. For other games that I'm planning to compete in, Vanguard Zero of course, I am planning to utilize clan battles a lot, and also the Vanguard Zero Pro League coming up as well for my team. And uh, for other games that I'm trying to go branch out on, I am completely not sure, but I'm looking to try as much games as possible. So, really excited to go uh, compete in as much games as possible, but I'll be having a high emphasis on Car 5 Vanguard, mainly Overdress, and also... Um, I'd say that some of the other games that would be heavily focused would be Vanguard Zero, uh, with especially with the qualifiers coming up for champs, and also I might consider uh, going pro in Project Sekai uh, if they decide to bring a official championship uh, rhythm games tournament too as well. We don't know that yet though, but it is potentially on the table as well. Finally, we'll get to the last thing I want to go over before we get to our uh, conclusion, which is server events. Now, in the Shinny Clan Discord, which you can check out down in the description, this is going to be a main hub for server events. Um, and that area contains a lot of our watch party stuff as well, but I also want to be utilizing 
a lot of the uh, games that I don't really play on stream. The main one being School Idol Festival All-Stars. It's a game that I'm not as much fond of when streaming, but I will be probably utilizing that. I also might consider doing Vanguard Zero events from time to time as well. I'm not really a fan of streaming Zero anymore, I just like commentating Zero, but potentially just casually playing, I might consider be using that as well, since I have a lot of decks in Zero. So you might see potentially some uh, server events where I just go play Vanguard Zero, but who knows? So I'm really excited to see what's to come here for the server events lastly though we're gonna get to our finals over here thank you all for, uh especially all for continually supporting myself as well it's been a struggling semester overall for myself but we've gotten through it and now i'm going to be taking this one more break to uh recapping a lot of the main content and i'm looking forward to it the main thing I do want to emphasize though is that I will continue streaming as much as possible. I want to do this. I love streaming on Twitch and I hope that you all continue to support uh, Chainclan as well. Not just on Twitch but on YouTube and also our Discord server where we do a lot of our events and also compete in a lot of different uh, games as well. Other than that, that has been the main conclusion of my update video. Thank you all for continually watching here. Continue to embrace the darkness, and we will see you all in the next video, which will actually be tomorrow. So, um, the also thing that I do want to emphasize before I leave is that I will post my stream schedule for this week at uh, closer to later tonight. So, other than that, thank you all, and we'll see you all in the next video.